On Facebook or Meta, you can track key actions with events or with custom conversions. I want to explain how custom conversions work and why they can be very, very useful. I will create um, a few examples of custom conversions, one for a form submit, it will be a lead conversion, one for uh, WooCommerce transactions for a specific product, so not every purchase, but a very specific product, and uh, a custom conversion for uh, a watch video event basically fire when an embedded video is watched on our demo website now let's start first of all custom conversions can be based on events and parameters on this channel i have another video explaining how you can create custom custom audiences based on events and parameters the process here is very similar what you need is to find out if Pixel your site, our plugin, fires an event for the action you want to track. If it does, you can use that event and its parameters to create a custom conversion. If it doesn't, you need to fire your own event from here, the events page. On this channel, I have another video explaining how you can fire events with Pixel your site. I won't go into details in this one. So let's say I have this form that I want to track. I will uh, add my name, my email, some message, and submit the form. With Pixel Helper Chrome extension, I can immediately check if there is an event fire, and it is. Pixel your site automatically fires an event called form. But we fire this event for every form submit happening on your website. It's not very useful in my case because I want to track this specific form. And I can do it in various ways. For example, this form is on a particular page and I can say form button, uh, form events and the event URL, which is track with this parameter. This will be uh, useful. I can use the form class. Basically, we identify the classes on this button and the form ID. If you have a specific ID on this button, we will track the ID with an event. Uh, so I can use a combination of those or just one of uh, the relevant parameters. I will decide to go with um, the event URL because I don't, uh, you don't usually have multiple forms on, on uh, the same page. If you do use a form class, as well and let's create the custom conversion go to your event uh, manager click create custom conversion and select you don't want all the traffic to uh, become part of your custom conversions list no no you just want the form okay and now event parameter URL event URL contains let me go back and copy the parameter value and that's it I don't have a value for this particular form but if you want to add value is possible and uh, that should be it name of course you have to name your form another inter interesting thing facebook will decide what category should this form uh, have but you can also have the ability to select the category in my case i want this to be a, a lead form because i'm submitting a form it's a lead event so you can define the category for each uh, custom conversion that you have. I want this to be a lead and click create success done. Very easy. Now I have this um, custom conversion and I can use it with my ads. I can use this custom conversion as the ads objective 
and I can see reports inside the ads for this form. Otherwise, you cannot do this for custom events. In my case, the custom conversion was based on a form event, which is not a standard event. It's a custom event, so it's not possible to track it for the ads in a different way. It's not possible to use it as uh, ads objective. So uh, I'm now able to use that particular event fired on that particular form and optimize my ads for the, that exact action. Um, Another thing I want to do, okay, I want to create a custom conversion for people that bought just a very specific product on my website. And to do this, I want, I need to do a transaction for that event. If you already know the, um, the, the structure of the purchase event, you don't need to do a transaction every time. You can uh created using the correct parameters but i want to show you exactly how you can find those parameters proceed place order and check the events right here in this case the product name is right here content name it's belt so when i will create my custom conversion i will use purchase, content name, and value belt. Purchase. Okay. Click create and now I have this custom conversion uh, simple again this will fire only when uh, people buy that specific product so I will have a custom conversion for a specific product I can measure it with my uh, ads reports I can optimize my ads for this custom conversion and the last thing custom conversion for people that watch that this particular video we fire an event, watch video event, and you will see the video title, the video ID, somewhere around here, video title, uh, the event action, which was play. And we also have 10%, 50%, 100%, and 90% and 100%. We fire this event for progress as well. So, I will not create a new conversion for this one. It's pretty simple to understand how it works. Uh, the same principle apply. Now, another thing I want to show you, Facebook has some, something called aggregated event measurement. Configure web events. The domain has to be verified. Again, on this channel, I have another video showing you how to verify your domain using Pixel your site. Uh, and you have up to eight events in this list. You can manage these events, remove some of them and add your custom conversion if you want to track it with uh, your ads and if you want to optimize your ads for this custom conversion. Uh, these settings apply only for iOS 14 and upwards. So it's, it's a protocol between Facebook Meta or an Apple that allows Facebook to track uh, people that opted out on Apple devices. Only these events in the list are um, tracked by this system and only the top event or conversion is reported. So if you have add to cart and purchase in the same session for a user that opted out, the add to cart is not reported only the purchase is reported because purchase has a uh, higher value. I have to delete some of these events if I want to add my custom conversion. And 
as you saw, I selected custom conversion. I selected the conversion that I want to add, purchase belt. I can select another one if I want and click apply. Yes, I confirm changes. This step is required only for um, tracking this conversion on iOS 14.5 devices for people that opted out of tracking. Um, you might have a problem if the conversion was not fired and um, you have to wait some time. So not, you don't see all the conversions um, immediately or even the events immediately. There is some delay there. Uh, that's it. That, that's how you can use custom conversions based on um, events and parameters. I'm Christian Stoichesko from Pixel Your Site. I hope you like this video. Um, watch the other video that we have on the channel about custom audiences based on events and parameters. It's quite useful as well. Thank you very much. Have a great day.